Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time we spoke with Beauty and Beast and they basically were kind of begging for us to help them out. Be uh, Beauty because she took a loan out from the Crooked Man and Beast because he was basically delivering stuff for the Crooked Man at the Cut Above, which is Johan's Butcher Shop on the same street as the, the Baker and the Candlestick Maker. Coincidentally, um, so we had a decision on which one to go to either um, the Lucky Pond, which is where Beauty went to get her loan, or the uh, the butcher shop where Beast was uh, delivering uh, packages. And we decided to go to the butcher shop because it makes more logical sense. Uh, Johan the butcher there reluctantly, extremely reluctantly allowed us to search the back area after he pressed like a, a buzzer that uh, told people that was in the back room to run. And we found a lot of chemicals from the old world uh, that would allow people to make like, uh, like black market magic. And we found other like vials of like the... Um, the the glamours the black uh, black market glamours and it looks like that they're doing a lot of illegal stuff and like shipping them out uh, at cheaper costs which is why you know the official fable town witches are having problems getting all this shit like giving out actual glamours so johan basically said that um you know why don't you try and find the crooked man and crane like using the mirror and we're like well the mirror shattered and crane took a piece then he said why not go to lucky pond chances are it's probably there i don't know i don't know why it would be there but an excuse to go to the lucky pond i guess so that's where we're kind of heading right now and we gave our assurance to johan that we were going to sort out this mess in the end and he and the rest of fable town will be safe We'll see how that goes. Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna my fucking Jack, system? What the fuck is going on? But you I'm uh, the guy who just makes gonna I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't want so get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, oh, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna Whoa. rip your fucking lungs out! Cool it, Woody. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. We don't need the business office involved in this shit. I just want what's mine. My axe. Anyone, and I mean anyone who gets in the way of that, has something else coming to them. What is your fucking problem? Just stay out of my way, all right? How you feeling today, Sheriff? Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my ass? What the oh, fuck? Alright, that's enough. This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog? You got a lot of nerve. Oh my god, stop calling me dog. Did we just walk into here? Ah, protected your friend. Too bad you couldn't protect those whores. <laughs> Go on, try to stop them. <laughs> Fucking stay down. There she is. Ah. 
Yeah, that's what you get for knocking me in the back of my fucking head. Calm down now. Missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who was really running this town. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Fucking bitch. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Okay. Let's check the top one. Like, what the fuck? Good time for traveler's checks, huh? We're being presented so many times with the opportunity to take money, and I don't want to do it. But in this instance, I'm thinking we ha we should take it. And, and here's my reason why. Um, the, the coat is going to be staying here. I don't know why we just don't take the whole fucking coat. Instead, we're just checking the pockets. The coat's going to be staying there, which means the money's going to be staying there. And we know that Crane embezzled money. If we take the money, we might have a chance to give it to snow and put it back in like the office you know what i mean i'm again i'm really trying hard to do the right thing here i'm trying to play this as by the book as i can only showing my claws so to speak uh when i really have to you know and what a fucking intro like what the fuck did we walk into you know what i mean Two minutes into the fucking episode, and already we're like fighting for our lives. Um, so I'm gonna take the money in this instance. He won't be needing this anymore. Lots of money. That sick piece of. The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. 
Oh, if they're dead, I'll hear them out. It's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. We'll see about that. Out of smoke? I'll give him one. Shitty brand. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something. Get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. A fucking men, brother. A fucking men. Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna be all right? Know me. That does not look like a regular cab driver. That guy looks like he's on. He works on fucking Wall Street. You gotta have like a guy with the fucking. Um, oh, what are they called? Those like really uh, like jockey caps. You know what I mean? Kill the prostitutes. Crane was helping himself to the community coffers. It means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the fact? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, are Sheriff you... Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, <laughs> there's the old wrecking ball. If I was Bigby right now, I would just turn fucking around and just walk right out and not even say a single word. Oh yeah, yeah. Higby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> Just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Fuck you. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. A crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got Fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could have imagined. But that's over now, because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. And that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? Do you remember that? After all the times he's pushed us around? When we're trying to be as civil as shit? Fuck you, Bluebeard. Understand, this piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Not necessarily. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. 
It helps that I have a good uh, working relationship Mary with Mary got her hands on and it. And I don't mind speaking in rhyme. I found Mary, it in Crane's coat. Mary deals with mirrors. The I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes. Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fatal Town. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Oh, what Go you... talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So, just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. For a friend, the rules will bend. Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. Can you say the same? Uh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a watch. Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right, burdening the weakest of us like this. This world isn't kind to those of us who can't pass for human. Look, you were unglamoured three days ago, and you're still unglamoured now. I can't ignore that. But you go to the farm, things cool down here a bit. Maybe you can come back at some point. Best I can do. What a crook of shite. The government buy the fables for the fables, my ass. Oh, I... Okay, I legitimately thought... I was going to be like, I'll give you a break, but not forever. I legitimately thought that's what was going to happen. Can I go back? Because that's not the option I wanted. Okay, good, good, good. Sorry, guys, that's that's really not the option I wanted. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. Which is Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right, burdening the weakest of us like this. This world isn't kind to those of us who can't pass for human. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sheriff. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get you sorted, and I'll be glamoured to the nines, I will.
Bluebeard, you wanna talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. <laughs> Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Look, I'll take care of it later. I told him we'd work it out, so he'd get out of our hair. We don't have time to worry about that right now. Bigby, what did I tell you? If he's unglamored when this whole thing is over, I'll send him to the farm. No questions asked, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the Crooked Man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told, or... Maybe they just try to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. But if that was the case, why leave the head at our doorstep? Or maybe the crooked man didn't put it there. Someone else put it there. Um. And what I mean by that is someone who wants to put us on the track of figuring all this shit out. You know what I mean? Like, get us started. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Oh shit, she's got the connection in the mirror, doesn't she? just happened we pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at bloody mary's reflection oh her that explains the sting i'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings so let's not do that again okay okay looks like we'll have to track him down later you're right we need to focus on the immediate threat and that's the crooked man bigby we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. But we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I'll catch him and bring him back here. Alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. I was born ready. All right, and that's going to do it for this episode. 
I hate dealing with like these office politics. I'm, I'm actually kind of thankful we didn't have to deal with Bluebeard. Um, but I know it's not the last we'll have seen of him. With Toad, I felt. I know he probably doesn't take us seriously. Like, how many times do we have to fucking tell him about the glamour? How many times does he just roll his eyes at us? I know. And I should send him to the farm. But I'm going to give him another chance. If he does not have, if he's not glamoured by the end, I'm going to be like, I warned you, like 16 times. Like, you're done. But anyways, that's that's for the future. Um, yeah, next time we'll hopefully finally be talking to the Crooked Man and see what he's all about. In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.